In FRC, some things never change, and the most notable among them is the presence of an intake mechanism. As the first part of a robot to contact game pieces, the intake determines a significant portion of the robot's capabilities. The intake in Gungnir was the most redesigned and problematic part of the robot. This is the untold story behind the intake of Gungnir. The discussion and prototyping process started immediately after the kickoff. After some initial research and discussion, we began prototyping. We experimented with multiple designs and used the analyzed data to improve our prototype. After analyzing the results, we concluded that an intake with two rollers and a void in the middle was the best choice. These counter-rotating rollers would have the top roller making the first contact, pulling the node through the void space. After holding the node, the structure would rotate to feed it to the shooter. With the design completed, the construction process started. Little did we know that this would be anything but a smooth process. By the time construction was fully completed, it was already around the second week of February. However, the intake had a major flaw rooted deep in its design. While it could pick up a note, it struggled to bend it close to 90 degrees when feeding it to the shooter. Initially, we tried to fix the problem without a complete redesign by removing the piece that bent the note. This made feeding inconsistent, sometimes even dropping the note into the robot. We were left with no option but a complete redesign. For the redesign, we removed the plate that bent the note to feed it to the shooter. An angled plate was added to hold the note in place while guiding it to the middle of the mechanism. The front roller was moved back while maintaining the opening in between. This allowed feeding without bending but meant the bottom roller would hit the note first, which could prevent note pickup at high speeds. Fortunately, this issue only occurred at near full speed, which was not a significant problem. Our first regional took place in mid-March. During one of the matches, the intake mechanism was hit by another robot, causing catastrophic damage. Back in the pit, with another match just minutes away, we did all we could to repair the intake. These attempts were mostly successful, but the incident highlighted that the intake, although very rigid, completely fell apart when it reached its breaking point, dealing with heavy damage to its surrounding components. With the East Bay Regional coming up in less than a week, we faced some problems. The current intake was too fragile and had no chance of surviving in East Bay, where robots are much more robust than those in Turkey. We opted for another complete redesign, creating an intake that would pick up the note and guide it all the way to the shooter without pivoting. This meant it would be in the developed position most of the time and needed to resist hits. To increase durability, we made the design less rigid and left room for elasticity, increasing the new intake survivability. The second redesign also underperformed. The motor was right behind the first set of rollers, blocking notes intaking from the sides. The compression between the rollers were too small, causing notes to get stuck in the middle of the mechanism forcing us to remove the note by powering the intake in reverse. The system was still not durable enough, with front rollers often stopping after a head-on collision. We couldn't go to the championship like this. After the East Bay Regional, the championship was days away, and we were left with an underperforming intake. With only four days to get to Houston, we had mere days to fully design, contrast, test, and tune the new intake. Having our workshop over 10,000 kilometers away didn't help. Thankfully, 
Team 1477 Texas Torque allowed us to use their workshop and expertise, and Team 3476 Code Orange assisted us in manufacturing the new design. For the championship, we needed a robust yet effective intake. The second redesign's direct note pass-through technique proved worthy, so we decided to use a similar design while fixing the pass-through problems. First, we increased the intake's elasticity, resulting in increased durability. Second, we changed the path the note takes from the intake to the shooter for a more seamless pass-through. Third, we moved the pulley's transmitting power to all rollers to the outer side of the mechanism, preventing note from getting stuck inside. Fourth, we replaced some rollers with smaller ones, making it easier for notes to travel through. The journey of designing and perfecting the intake mechanism for Gungnir was a testament to our team's resilience, creativity, and collaborative spirit. Despite the numerous setbacks and challenges, we persisted and evolved. From initial discussions and prototypes to multiple redesigns and final adjustments, every step was a learning experience that strengthened our team. The intake mechanism went from being the most problematic part of our robot to a symbol of our determination and innovation.